Well, I, I put on my holiest jeans and I went and found the most grimy, dirty, ugly theater I could possibly find just so I could enjoy properly Ty West's new movie, X. Let's review. X stars Mia Goth, Jenna Ortega, Brittany Snow, Kid Cootie, Martin Henderson, and is directed by Ty West. What's up, guys? It's an exciting day. We got a brand new Ty West movie. I just reviewed House of the Devil. Uh, saw it for the first time probably a month ago now, something like that, just in anticipation of this movie. Ty West, cards on the table. He is definitely one of the best horror directors to come along in quite a while. I mean, he's been around for a while, but man, his movies always make a mark. And uh, so this was definitely one that I was really looking forward to. Even if I didn't know Ty West was directing this, it was an A24 movie. It had this, you know, 70s vibe to it. That days of struggling may soon be over. Hollywood, here we go. You don't want to leave, do you? People's eyes are going to pop out of their damn skulls when they see this. <gasps> I mean, unmistakably looking like something like Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Just that iconic fisheye lens shot inside the van that's in there. Just judging from the trailer, as you can probably guess, there's a big portion of this movie that you don't see in the trailer. It's definitely spoilerific. So we're not gonna be talking spoilers in this review, okay? I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna do a full spoiler filled review because it's so good. It's just so damn good, the stuff that you don't see in the trailer. Let me just say, this movie's violent as fuck, okay? This is definitely a bona fide horror movie. And if you're really into like that late 70s Texas heat with a, a nice dash of boogie nights, then this is your freaking movie. And, and of course, Ty West. So first off, let's give you a quick plot synopsis. 1979, Houston, Texas, this small little camera crew they're going to film this porno movie but they want to make a mark they want to make a more cinematic porno movie doesn't this sound familiar this is boogie nights that that's pretty much what boogie nights was but it's it's done in the best way and so really what do you get when you combine elements of movies like boogie nights with a ty west feature that is a surefire horror, grimy, dirty treat. That's exactly what this is. But yeah, getting down to the brass tacks of the story, the small crew, they're going to this like farmhouse and it's owned by this, this old man. And so they just wanna use his small little house uh, away from the main house. And the guy doesn't really tell them, you know, what he's using the house for, you know? So automatically, they get into a little bit of trouble with that, but they're using it so they can film a porno. So honestly, the first half of this movie is them getting everything set up. You definitely see some tasteful porno action. You know, think Boogie Nights, how they were very tasteful with what they're doing, but they still show you what you're, what you're in for. But I knew going into this that that wasn't what I was here for. I mean, yeah, it's, it's nice, you see that stuff, but what I'm really here for is great freaking characters. First off, Jenna Ortega uh, has really made a mark lately. You know, we saw her earlier this year in Scream. She is that really quiet character. She holds the, the, the boom mic and uh, she's not like a, a main player in here. You know, she's not an actress, but she does get kind of seduced by the whole thing along the way, you know? Let's face it, being an actress, even if you're in the porno side of things, um, seeing the other side of the camera from behind the camera, you still get kind of seduced by that. And so she's that character. She's really quiet, but she can't help but be curious what it would be like to be on the other side. And Mia Goth, oh my God, freaking scene stealer. And she really is the first thing we see in this movie, you know, snorting a line of coke and she's just basically saying, I'm gonna make my mark. You know, I'm gonna be a freaking star. If Again, if you wanna compare this to Boogie Nights, she's kind of like what Mark Wahlberg was in this movie. Uh, but don't, don't get confused by my comparison to Boogie Nights because this isn't, you know, this isn't a full-on exploration of that world for, you know, almost two hours. No, it's a horror movie. Trust me, it's definitely a horror movie. It's just inserting elements of that world into this. And also, 
since I'm on the characters here, let me just say too, there's no like real front runner. And this is set up kind of like um, a splatter movie. You don't know who's going to be the last guy or girl standing. And I love that they set it up like that. They gave everybody kind of a, uh, an even playing ground. All these characters though are still very eccentric and you like every single one of them, which makes it even better. So you're kind of guessing like who is going to be the, the, the last person standing in this thing without taking away from how great all these freaking characters are. Now Martin Henderson plays Wayne and he's definitely channeling Matthew McConaughey and he, he does it in the best way possible. And uh, he's the, the older, more seasoned gentleman. He's the executive producer and he's trying to make a successful porno film. And Kid Cootie plays Jackson. He's our male star. Uh, he's definitely packing heat, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. But everybody's just so free in this movie and you can't help but love the freaking characters. Every single one of them. Let me just say, the reason, aside from the great characters, that I love this movie so much is that it's unpredictable. The kills, violent as hell, but also very creative. And they're also centered around the story. You know, they're not just... Um, creative kills just for that sake. It's not like a Friday the 13th movie. Everything has a reason in this. And you can probably tell I'm being very careful with what I'm saying and, and how they're getting killed. And I can't wait to freaking talk spoilers in this movie, but my God, it's so damn good. Great music along the way. Um, comparisons to like, uh, of course, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, but also like The Shining, Halloween, um, lots of great stuff without like being a full on homage to those movies. You know, this is its own thing for sure. But you can't help but notice, you know, flavors, especially because of the setting in the late 70s of those other movies. And this is an A24 movie. This is a Ty West movie. So comparing it to like what we had with the latest Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie, which I l really liked a lot, this is what I would call more highbrow or dare I say elevated horror. It, it really is. It, and what I mean by that is just Ty West direction is so damn good in this. He had a game plan with how he wanted to present this movie. And you'll, you'll definitely notice uh, some unique um, editing choices throughout here. Uh, great camera work all the way through. And uh, you know, it's kind of like art imitating life, which they make a joke about that. And you know, the guy RJ, who's the camera operator, he says constantly throughout this movie, he wants to make something that's more cinematic, not just a straight up porno movie. And so there's constant winks like that throughout this, that this is something bigger than the sum of its parts, I guess. So trapped on a freaking island. Oh my God, I had a feeling this was gonna be great, but it was even better. It like exceeded my expectations. I left the theater just completely elated. Guys, we don't get horror movies this good that often, okay? That are up to this standard of filmmaking, okay? And I know there's that meme out there where, uh, you know, elevated horror, but uh, screw it, let's watch uh, Sleepaway Camp 3 again. But this is just a great example of, you can have your cake and eat it too. Sometimes you're in the mood for more highbrow movies, but this is like a mixture of things. And you'll see what I'm talking about when you watch this movie, because it, it's combining elements of those two types of horror. You know, what if you put a splatter movie inside of an A24 type movie? This is the best of everything. So anyway, guys, yeah, that's my non-spoiler review for X. I know it was all over the place, but God, I freaking love this movie. Can't wait to dig into spoilers because there's so much I haven't told you yet. So anyway, you let me know your thoughts on X down in the comments. Looking forward to hearing them. Also, be sure to come over to Killer Flex, where we talk horror all day and every day on Fridays. We do free for Fridays. Follow me, Dum Dums, on my socials. Support me on Patreon. Buy me a coffee. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and Dum Dum out.